Hello guys, in today's video, I'm going to talk about two very commonly encountered warning messages in Angular development. One is incompatibility between your local Angular CLI and global Angular CLI. The other is incompatibility between your local Angular CLI and globally installed Node.js or the current Node.js environment. So what is that? Uh, this is a project called a tutorial I built under Angular 12. And since then, I upgraded my Angular from version 14 to version 12 to version 13 and Node.js from version 14 to version 16. So I have a more recent version of Angular CLI and more recent version of Node.js. When I run this code, ng version, it will send a warning. Uh, the global version 13 is greater than local version 12. So what does that mean? When I run any command ng, where does this ng command come from? Uh, you can use which ng. You can see this ng comes from uni Unix system resources local binary ng, this directory. That's my globally installed Angular CLI, and it has a version. But the version of this ng is not the same version as the Angular CLI installed under my project folder, node modules. This folder, node modules, also has Angular CLI installed. You can see here Angular. So there are two versions of Angular CLI. One is local version installed under my project node modules directory. The other is the globally installed uh, Angular CLI under my Unix system resource local binary directory. If you use ng version, so this command is goes to your globally installed Angular binary. And this ng will check first Hey, is there a directory under my present working directory called node underscore modules? If there is such a directory, I will return the version of the locally installed Angular and in the CLI version. If there's no such a directory, I will return, return the globally installed Angular CLI version. So that's how this command runs. It can be very confusing because there are actually two different versions of Angular. And whatever is returned depends on where you execute this command, ng version command. If it's executed under a directory where there is a node modules directory with Angular CLI installed, it returns the Angular CLI of the local version. Otherwise, it's global version. So here, it's version 12 because it's executed under an Angular project with a node modules directory. If I go to another directory, my home directory, it's not an Angular project directory. I run ng version, it will return version 13 because it returns the globally installed uh, Angular CLI version. So that is the trick. You have two versions of Angular CLI. And whenever you run ng-new, it is always the globally installed Angular version. For this case, it's Angular 13. When you use ng-serve, ng-build, ng-generate, blah, 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 it will always use your locally installed Angular version because obviously your project was built under Angular 12. If you use the global Angular 13 version, you will screw up your project. So ng-new is a command that is not under any Angular current existing Angular project because it generates, it scaffolds a new Angular project. All the other commands, ng-generate components, ng-serve, ng-build, they all run for an existing project. So of course, when you use those commands, it searches for the Angular CLI installed locally under this node underscore modules folder. So that is the different versions of Angular CLIs. If your global version and your local version diverges, it issues a warning to tell you that, okay, when you run these ng-serve, ng-build, ng-generate commands, it will use your locally installed version, Angular 12. If you go to another directory, you ng-new, create a new project, it will use your global version Angular 13, and you cannot run ng-new under existing directory, a uh, project directory. It gives you a warning. Yeah. The new command requires to be run outside of a project. Yeah, you cannot. Otherwise, you, you got seriously mecked up. You have code generated by version 12, and you have code generated by version 13. They got mixed together. Yeah, so when you use ng-new, you have to use it outside of existing project, and you have to, uh, and it is always uses your global Angular CLI version. So I hope that clarifies. Uh, if you want to avoid this kind of warning, what should you do? Uh, obviously, you should upgrade your Angular project. You visit the Angular upgrade page. There are official uh, documentation. You can just select the two versions from version 12 to 13 and then 
execute the command. Sometimes they don't work. You have to use the double hyphen force option to upgrade at your own risk. Now the question is, another warning also shows up. If you type ng version, a second warning, if I sc scroll down, warning, the current version of Node is not supported by Angular. So what does that mean? Angular is built, of course, using JavaScript, right? You, the Angular code is all executed by JavaScript. TypeScript converted to compiled into um, JavaScript code and executed by your local Node.js, your global Node.js, sorry. You can actually install local Node.js with a package called NVM. This little guy allows you to install as many different Node.js versions as you want. So I have installed, I have another video, by the way, feel free to check out about NVM. I have installed multiple uh, Node.js versions. One is version 14, so I use NVM use 14. Now, if you do ng version, what happens? The warning is gone because Angular 12 is supported by Node version 14. It may run under Node version 16, who knows, but it's not guaranteed. But under Node 14, it will, not, will run. So if you do not want to upgrade your Angular project from 12 to 13, you may just install another Node.js environment using the NVMM. And when you compile the project, build the project, and, and so on and so forth, you can just NVM use version 14 or whatever version. Yeah, and then you can just uh, build your project as business as usual, as if you were doing it six months ago, because it's the older version of Node.js, it's the older version of Angular, they are compatible. And after you're done, you want to switch to the more recent, the latest Node.js version, you can just use NVM deactivate. Then it goes back to your globally installed Node.js. Check out my other video, yeah. So that's the two warnings. Um, this NVM allows you to install multiple Node.js versions, so you can always compile, build your old project, or add it to your old project without issues. So it's strongly recommended. Of course, another option is just upgrade your historical Angular projects all the way to the latest version. And that will obviate the need to install multiple Node.js versions. I hope this video helped clarify some of the warning messages. Thank you.